top and what you're going to need is you're going to need a spool of thread like this and then either a blank bobbin or a bobbin with already thread on it because you can always go over it. For this one though, I'm going to use a blank one just so you can get the general idea. So first things first, you're going to put this bobbin on this little metal thing in every sewing machine it's in this general area. Um, sometimes it's not metal, it just depends on your sewing machine and if you have any questions you can always refer to your instructions manual. The next step is to put the big spool of thread because this is the string that's going to go onto your bobbin. Um, this sewing machine doesn't have a guide to, for threading the bobbin, but if I had any questions I could always go to my instructions manual and some do have arrows for the, the bobbin. So for this one, I wrapped it around the silver guide, and then I like to wrap thread around the bobbin a three or four couple times just so the sewing machine and the thread knows where it's going and it won't get caught in anything else. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pull the bobbin to the right to lock it in place, and so the sewing machine knows that you're going to be threading the bobbin and not using your needle. So now for this one, I'm going to pull this towards me so it locks it, and then I'm going to make sure it's on, and then I'm going to press the pedal, and then I'm going, <laughs> and then I'm going to press the pedal, and it's going to thread it for me. And sometimes you, of course this happens. Sometimes it doesn't thread right away, so if that's the case, undo it, re-wrap it around again, and then press the pedal once more, Make sure, making sure it's locked. In place. So as you can see, it's starting to go. And you do this for a little bit until it gets nice and flat with lots of Alright, so now should be a good stopping point. You can do a little more. You just want to make sure it's not all the way to the edge and it, you have a little space, but you have enough thread on there to complete your project. So now what you're going to do is slide to the left, pick it up. You can either use scissors to cut this. I think it's just easier to go to your built-in um, cutter on your sewing machine and just cut that off and then wrap it around and you're done.